I hate shopping for clothes and I do it as infrequently as possible, but the thing that I hate the most is shopping for jeans and it's something that I do very infrequently. When I buy something, I buy it to last for a long time because quite frankly, I don't really care so much about clothes. I just want something that will fit right, cover me up, and will be durable. So, the last place that I bought jeans was uh, Sears. And it was a Roebuck and Company. They don't make them the same anymore. I tried that. I even Because I went to a place where they actually had a Sears. They don't have it locally here. Anyway, tried a variety of different ones. If you saw my video about the color bleeding, out of those one jeans, they came from uh, Field and Stream, the Field and Stream brand. They fit great. I really liked them until I looked down and realized that my white shoes were turning blue and I tried to get the color out. I'll put a link in the description below and you can see that video to see what can go wrong with buying certain jeans. That was a darker color, but I also think that, you know, from what I looked at, there are ways to lessen likelihood of that happening. Alright, so I tried some more jeans. I thought those would work out. You know, um, really had high hopes for those. And I tried them in the house, you know, just wore them, you know, a few times and I realized something. Um, they said low rise. The low rise are not comfortable and I don't think that they really should be made for men. There are some reasons for this. I think your mind can figure this out. There needs to be more room. Okay? So guys, I wouldn't suggest getting low-rise low jeans. Thankfully, I found that out before I committed to them. I went to finally the last store. It was actually Farm and Fleet. Nice store. And um, I tried like every single kind of jeans that they had. I had a stack like this tall. Oh, this tall something like that anyway um, and I went in the dressing room and I tried this and that and the other and they're all terrible except for one and it is this the Wrangler cowboy cut um, regular fit and it was like the, it has moisture wicking technology four-way flex for comfort two times longer lasting and it comes with a one-year limited warranty. Can you see that? Anyway, um, we warrant that during the warranty period, the product will be free from defects in materials and workmanship. Our responsibility for defective goods is limited to repair, replacement, or refund. Okay, so you can you can return them if they if they're defective within a year. And I tried a pair out for you know like five days okay here's the interesting thing when I tried them on in the store they felt a certain way now to backpedal a little bit when I was looking for jeans I saw stretch jeans I'm like no you know that's no I I, I want 100% cotton because I've always had 100% cotton co-worker said hey you know you should try Old Navy I went to Old Navy. All they had was stretch jeans. I put the things on and I'm like, what, what, wait, wait, what is this? This is natural because they were stretch and they felt too comfortable. And uh, I, I don't know, man, jeans aren't supposed to be that comfortable. They're supposed to be stiff when you first put them on and you're supposed to have to really break them in for a number of weeks. So I'm like, no, man, I can't do this. Time went on and I'm like, am I crazy? You know, they have some new thing and they feel better. So why are you doing this to yourself? Went back to the old Navy, realized that ah, it doesn't, they weren't really consistent. They weren't consistent in color. Um, another thing that I found when I was out looking is uh, jeans have like their pre, you know, they have like pre-wear, you know, uh, like fake wear on them, you know, like, uh, you know, in this area. They're going to have like these stripes, you know, because that's where you've been. They're going to have some, you know, faded knees, faded thighs, faded this, that, and the other, faded butt. Um, why? You know, that that is, I don't want to pay for pre-faded stuff, okay? I'll fade it myself, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, and 
those particular ones at Old Navy. I like them, but uh, you know, it didn't fit quite right. And that pre-fading stuff, it almost looked like tiger stripes. I mean, in some places, it was just like all inconsistent. And uh, like I said, I, I want to fade my own stuff. So, yes, finally went with these Wrangler ones, tried them out, and um, yeah, let me tell you the reasons why I like them. Number one, um, they stretch. The four-way stretch thing is for real. I don't think you can perceive this on camera, but they stretch. They move with you, okay? They feel too comfortable. They feel more comfortable than normal jeans, which is a good thing. They're supposed to last, they're supposed to be super strong and last twice as long. I don't know. I mean, time will tell. But like I said, when you try these on, they will feel comfortable if you have the proper fit. And when you wear them the next day, they'll feel the same. And a subsequent day, they'll feel the same. Now, to try it out, because I didn't want to commit to, I, I ended up buying four pairs. I, I didn't want to just, you know, wear it a couple times. I, I wore it like, I think, five times. You know, I did. And it felt the same. You know, sometimes, you know, you, you wear jeans. I don't wash my jeans every day, every time. Um, there was some information out there that says never to wash your jeans, which I definitely don't go for. But I figured, you know, I'll go longer than I normally do. They felt the same at the beginning as at the end. It's it's weird. This technology is pretty cool. Let me see if I can find the exact uh, stuff. Yeah, okay, so it's 70% cotton, 28% polyester, and 2% spandex. That's what this material is made out of. I'll cut here for a second and I'll show you the results of the washing. Check this out. So here are three pair of new jeans and the one pair that I have been wearing. And there was no uh, loss of color when I washed that first one. So just to test it out, here's a brand new color catcher sheet. I'll throw that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these and we'll see how that color catcher sheet turns out if it changes any color. All right, folks, the wash is done and this is a color catcher. All right, that's, it looks, you know, brand spanking white, uh, you know, right out of the box. But just look at this. There is very little discoloration and some of that is just fuzz, really. And you have to consider the fact that this is the first washing for three of the pairs and the second washing for one. So what they're doing is great. And you're not going to have to worry so much about this um, affecting your other clothes. Uh, check out my other video about those jeans that just kept bleeding blue. I mean, this thing, after all that I did, the color catcher was like a smurf, okay? I mean, it was, it was blueberry blue. This, totally acceptable. And I think it's probably good to wash, uh, you know, wash jeans the first time by themselves. Just kind of makes sense. I mean, they were dyed and whatnot, but I would feel absolutely no problem. There'd be no problem, no reason why I wouldn't wash uh, these with the rest of my clothes. I mean, I think you probably could even do it straight off the jump, you know, because when you put one of these color catches in, it catches colors. And they didn't used to have these things, obviously. Anyway, this is a very good sign. All right, as you can see, these things didn't, it hardly, they hardly lost any color. Okay, pretty awesome. Now, I didn't get the really dark color, but this is pretty dark. Anyway, I haven't really showed you the jeans except for being in the laundry. So here is what they are like. Okay, they look like blue jeans, <laughs> but here are some differences. All right, these have um, these rivets, like in many places where you might have tear out in pockets a huge pocket you know this little pocket watch thing you actually could put you know an old-fashioned pocket watch in it um, like I said rivets to hold on the pockets 
the front and the back pockets. You get a fancy leather Wrangler logo on there and big W's on your back pockets. Um, and they're just, they just feel, they feel sturdy. Here's an important thing. Like I was talking about as far as the low rise thing, this is not low rise. And check this, I don't know if you can really see, but that is a good size zipper. You know how sometimes you have those little teeny things you can barely move it, move it up and down or get stuck like down here in the bottom and you're like trying to fish it out of there and you barely can get it out. I've even had to, I think one time I had to use like needle, needle nose pliers. Anyway, that's a good zipper. You can just grab onto that. It's not gonna get stuck. Look, it's down in here. I can just reach down. Pull it back up and it's good it's quality and that's a good opening there guys the closure feels secure if you care about this this has this has nothing to do with uh, fit or anything but this is blue and the pockets in here are blue just because it's blue has absolutely no bearing on the function of the jeans but it's blue so when you could say I don't have any money Robert like you could do this it's blue whatever um, so yeah quality I think that they should last a long time and um, just in case you're curious this is how they look on me all right That's my modeling for the day. Got my rivets. Got my Wrangler thing. And they're cowboy cut. I uh, feel like a cowboy now. I, I actually do have bow legs, so that's one step in the uh, right direction. And it was actually really funny. I was looking at the reviews of these jeans, and <laughs> there was this one. I'm like, is this for real? The guy's talking about, yeah, you know, I was out there all day putting up fence posts and, um, you know, riding the trails. And it, it was like stereotypical cowboy stuff. I don't know if there are there real cowboys. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then he said he ended the day with a, you know, uh, in front of the fire on a bed roll and stuff and, you know, breaking cattle. Anyway, that was pretty funny. Um, Breaking, you, I guess you don't break cattle. Maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not a cowboy, okay? I'm a fake cowboy. Anyhow, um, when I find something that I like that I've spent a long time trying to find, I want to share it with somebody else so maybe they can have a good experience as well. Um, if you're like me, trying to find something that's quality and you don't like to shop, it it's painful. So hopefully this will ease somebody's burden buy these jeans they look like this on the tag on the butt you know a little wrangler uh leather thing will be there and i'll put a link in the description below to the wrangler site and yeah check them out you can find them in a local store i got these um a little bit on sale they're like 40 bucks each which is more than i like to pay for jeans normally they're, i mean i got a super good deal on those low rise ones but man sometimes you just got to pay a little bit more to have a better life anyway thanks for watching i hope that you can be comfortable too bye